Steve, this is a fascinating and unique race. Republicans have dominated that uh, Secretary of State's office for decades. But as of this moment, the race looks to be between a Democrat and a nonpartisan candidate. So that would be a, a first for the state. Secretary of State Steve Hobbs, as you just said, is well ahead in this race at this point. He's a, he said he's, quote, heartened by the initial result, results. And he says it's nice to know he's ahead. He doesn't want to jinx anything yet, though. We were with him as he watched those initial results come in here in Everett. He's a Democrat. He was a state senator appointed to the position last November by Governor Jay Inslee following the resignation of former Secretary of State Kim Wyman. She was a Republican. She took a job with the Biden administration in election security. Hobbs says that is a big issue for voters, election security, and that's why he thinks he's in the lead. I think the people wanted someone who would protect our elections from cybersecurity threats, from misinformation, disinformation, and do more voter outreach. That's something that I've conveyed to the voters, and that's the message I'm going to bring all the way to November. Voters were just waiting for a candidate who had professional experience without party strings attached. Um, they've never had that opportunity to select a candidate like that before, and clearly they were hungry for it. That's Julie Anderson. She is running as a nonpartisan candidate. She says it's time to get the party affiliations out of that office at the state capitol. As we speak, she is the number two, but she says it will be days before that official designation can be made. However, she feels pretty confident because most of the votes that need to be counted are in Pierce and King counties, and that's where she is doing awful well tonight. Live in Everett, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.